Hello everyone, welcome to TechTo.com. In this lecture, we will learn some important points regarding null values, which we missed throughout this series of SQL. Okay, so the first point I would like to start with is that in our SQL, we can have null value for, for a attribute, like SQL allows null values for attribute. Okay, now what if that value is involved or that attribute is involved in some arithmetic operation or in comparison operation okay so let's say in attribute we have null and what we are trying to do is we are trying to do null into some value 26 then what will be the output now my second question is what if i am doing comparison like 36 is greater than or equal to null then what will be the output okay so the answer for this question is that whenever you have arithmetic operation so whenever we have null involved in any arithmetic operation the output would be null okay and whenever the null is involved in any comparison operation okay then the output would be unknown okay so even if I'm writing that what would be equal to null equal to null so whether it is true or true or false so the answer would be unknown okay the answer would be unknown Although it seems to be like we can say null equal to null is yes true but no the answer would be unknown okay so now let's understand some logical operations involving null okay so we have and or or to understand so to understand this in better manner see this we have false as zero okay we have true as one so unknown is in between them and we, we will take it 0 0.5 okay in between them now we know that in case of and operation what we take is the lowest of the operand right lowest so for example if we have 0 and 1 then what we take 0 right if we have 1 and 1, lowest is 1, we take 1. If we have 0, 0, we take 0, right? So we take lowest. Now, what if we do AND between false and unknown? Okay, so if it is false AND, or let's write it, false AND unknown, the output would be lowest, right? So false now we have unknown and true so the output would be unknown lowest right we have false and true we know right for let's write it down false and true what is the output false okay so this is one thing now in case of or operator what we take is highest right so think of this when we have zero or 1 what we take highest of it so our output is 1 so similarly when we have false or unknown the output is unknown when we have unknown or true the output is highest that is true right so these things you need not to remember you just understand that this unknown is in between somewhere true and false right and we understand that in case of and logical operator what we take is lowest in case of or logical operator what we take is highest right so you can simply calculate it here you need not to remember all these tables right so this understanding the operation involving null is very important because in our database system null value is allowed right for an attribute the database or the record can have null value okay and if you are operating on null value then you should have an idea that how you are going to deal with this okay so now i hope you understand it 
so this is all about i think sql if we if i have missed something you can request the topic on tech2.com and we will try to cover it so we will start transaction from the next lecture okay so transaction management is our next target see you in the next lecture thanks for watching